my god, this is amazing. The best way to really see local Istanbul is on a street and fast food tour. We're gonna to show you 12 local real Istanbul fast foods and street foods that Istanbulites actually eat. Just like bagel in America, in Turkey, Turkish people start their day with Turkish bagel, which is slit. There's a lot of sesame seeds around it and it is so crunchy and so delicious and I can't wait to eat it right now. Do you want some, Steve? Of course. Do you like some? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. He likes it a lot, actually. Still got a very good crunch to it. Of course, when it's hot, it's a little bit more soft, but I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this. I love American bagels, but I think I like Simit just a little bit more. Just a little bit. It was a little bit sunny over there, so we came over here to try out street food number two, and it's Kastani roasted chestnuts. That's Gökçe's favorite. Got my chestnut, and I can't wait to try it. They just will sit in front of you, which is pretty cool, actually. Mm. It has a very sweet taste as well, which is so satisfying. In America, I actually buy a bag of chestnuts all the time because of this addiction. So Besiktas was our first stop on the European side and there's a ton of stuff to do there. But we came all the way to Ortikoy for our third food because there's two things in Ortikoy to see. First is the food, the loaded baked potato. And then there's also the Ortikoy Mosque, which is one of the most famous mosques in all of Istanbul. If you're visiting Istanbul, you have to make a stop in Ortikoy because you will get the best baked potato ever here. This is called kumpir and they put a lot of different ingredients in it. There are so many nice kumpir places lined up next to each other. But we just came to our favorite place today. The only problem here is you can't actually have a seat here. So you have to find a nice coffee or tea place upstairs or around here. Or you can go by the water and have your kumpir there and enjoy the beautiful scenery. We, we're gonna go down by the mosque right now to eat it, but it's actually jam-packed right there because it's a beautiful day out here in Istanbul in November. So we're gonna go a little bit later as the crowds disperse and just enjoy this beautiful kumpir right now. Delicious. We got a whole host of toppings, sausage, cheese, hot peppers, pickles, you name it. They'll put it on there for you. It's all so fresh and so good. It's actually very crowded right now, but I've never seen Otaku be not crowded. When you're coming to Istanbul, you absolutely have to come to Taksim Square. It's a historical square, but first you have to stop by for an Islak hamburger or wet burger. It's kind of a burger inside of an entire bun. Came to Kizil KLR because that is Gokche's favorite spot from university. Mm. So the wet hamburger is engulfed in the bun and the juices are all compressed inside and when you bite into it, they kind of all come out and it's really a delicious hamburger. Honestly, better than a lot that you can get in the US, that's for sure. After eating a lot of food so far, I am no longer hungry, so Steve is eating the wet burger. I probably am going to just have one bite, maybe now, is that okay? <laughs> okay, just one bite, nothing more. Probably I'm going to regret not having my own burger, but I'm really, really full. Cool. Yeah, I wish I had my own burger. It's actually only six liras. I can't believe it, it's so good. Can I have one more bite? Steve hates me now. <laughs> Our last stop on the day for the European side is at the famous Istanbul Galata Bridge, right down underneath, where they're catching fresh fish up top and they're bringing that fresh fish caught straight down to these restaurants underneath the bridge. And they're giving us balik ekmek, which is a fish sandwich, along with, as Gökçe has told me, you need a beer with that fish sandwich. Pretty awesome way to end our day on the European side. Sherefe. <laughs> This is actually Steve's first experience eating here on the Galata Bridge. There are so many of fish restaurants lined up next to each other on both sides. We choose to sit towards the historical old town. Istanbul is so beautiful. There's really a lot of fish in the sandwich for 15 liras, so it's go time. I'm gonna finally try my balik ekmek. The fish is very delicious. So this might not be one of the most fancy dinners that you could possibly have here in Istanbul, but it's pretty damn good. And the most amazing thing to me is you couldn't get scenery like this for this cheap in any other major city, and it makes Istanbul feel much more affordable, much more within reach for a lot of people.
So we are starting our second day here in Kadikoy in Durumju Emi. And yes, that is Durum, a Turkish wrap, but we are here actually not for wraps, but for one special thing called Beyran soup. So Beyran soup is actually from Gaziantep and it's one of two hangover cure soups here in Turkey. Beyran is made of lamb and also rice. So it's actually a very filling food. Of course, that's why it's probably substituting a whole meal of a breakfast, but it just tastes so good. You have to like a little bit of spicy, but Steve and I were kind of crazy. We add more spice in it. You we squeeze our lemon into our soup and we have our iron, of course, because what Turkish meal would be complete without iron? Time to dig in. Wow, the lamb is so nice and tender, and it definitely has a Gaziantep spice to it. Also, we have two ichli köfte. The outside of the ichli köfte is made of a mix of bulgur, potato, and some eggs. And the inside is ground meat. It's just one of the most common and well-known Turkish food. So here you go. I love the fact that they actually put it sometimes pistachios, sometimes walnuts, some pines in it, then they're mixing it with the ground meat inside. We just got to Kadim. They have a lot of Turkish traditional food, but more importantly, I'm very excited about this next soup option, Ishkembe Çorbası. It's actually a tripe soup. Tripe is the stomach lining of a cow. We actually drink this soup very commonly in Turkey, but it's most commonly consumed after midnight. So the ishkembe is cut very tiny, little pieces, and then we also got shirdan, a thicker outer lining of the stomach. I actually have never had shirdan. This is going to be my first time. This is actually really good. Should I feed you? Hold on, wait a second. I'm gonna switch the camera. Let's do it real time. Okay, ready for that thing? Maybe. Perfect. There you go. You know what? I like the sheer done better. Alright, chikofte time. Chikofte is actually vegetarian kofte. Don't let the kofte name fool you. Chikofte is made of bulgur wheat. It's a special kind of wheat. It, it is mixed with olive oil, hot pepper, garlic, all the good stuff. And most importantly, and my favorite ingredient is walnut in it. This is actually the traditional way of serving it, but we also got two durum. Durum is the wrap. I don't know how we're gonna finish all this food. Honestly, probably we're gonna take some home. Really good. Chocolate is at least. Go check that. And we have iron here, of course. of course. But we have to shake it first. You shake it, I'm not gonna do it to you. <laughs> Each place in Turkey has their own unique food. And Chikofte is no different. It's actually from Adiaman. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Adiaman is correct in the southeast of Turkey. So that way, with the south of Turkey, you can know where this little bit of spice is coming from because it definitely has a nice little kick to it. Speechless. We walked around a little bit to burn all the calories that we just consumed this morning, but then it started raining, so we're like, oh well, you know, we have to continue eating today. So <laughs> now we're at a Tantuni place. Tantuni is a very popular food from Mersin, the city in the southern part of Turkey. And what makes this dish very special is the red pepper, the flavor that it has. Even these Tantuni places in Istanbul are bringing that sauce from Mersin, especially. And this also has to be made fresh. So you can't just make it and contain it for days. They actually make it in front of you and it looks so delicious. And today, Steve and I were sharing yogurt for a portion and a half and we have a wrap here. We definitely suggest to have the meat instead of chicken because it's a more traditional way to do it. And we have a shalgam suyu today. Shalgam suyu is a fragmented carrot juice and I run is the yogurt drink as you've been seeing us drink it all day. So I'm just gonna start with this amazing dish. Otherwise, I'll take the first step. Thank you. Wow, I really miss it. So the durum is left up to me now. That's some good meat. Oh my god, stop raining. Now we're gonna go have some cockroach. And don't please question us how we eat so much. We know how to burn it. We saved the two best Istanbul street foods for last. We are talking about, of course, kokoreç, which is lamb intestines, and media dolma, which is stuffed mussels with rice. 
Of course, we've already tried those in other parts of Turkey, but when you're here in Istanbul doing an Istanbul street food, you absolutely have to have kokoreç as well as media dolma. It's so good. Now I'm so excited to try this. This is actually our second time here and we came back because of this delicious taste. Mm, I love it. Kokoreç never gets old. All right, it's go time on the kokoreč. Bit of spice in there. Very similar consistency to just kind of regular meat the lamb intestine. And you get the big chunks in there. They really don't shy away from uh, providing a good amount of meat lamb intestine in there. Really delicious. Highly recommend coming to Rex Kokoreč. So they actually invited us up to show us how the media dome is actually made. They make it above the street level because of course they only have the kokoreč stuff down there. It's called media dolma and the way that you eat it, you squeeze some lemon and then by using the other shell, you're spooning it. Mm. Wow. This is probably the best one I've ever had before. All right, your turn, Hayashi. I always screw up the shelling it out, but... Yeah. Oh, come on, Steve, you can't do it. <laughs> it's so nice when they're fresh like that. Coming out of the pot, the muscle is nice and large, they don't skip at all, and the rice is just perfect with it. This place is called Super Mario. The yeah. only reason why I know about this place is because, of course, Stephen Gokshe told me about this yeah. place. And why you guys know this place? We have a Turkish friend. She was like, "You have to, have to go to Super Mario. They don't do just the say regular. have to, have to one more time. They have to, <laughs> have to, <laughs> have to. <laughs> the regular tradition is you go to the Galata Bridge, and there are so many restaurants underneath the bridge. Based on the regular tradition, you have fish bread. But this place is special because they actually make fish wrap, not gotcha. fish bread. And she said, don't leave Istanbul without trying this. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this. You have to. It's so exciting. It's so good. Wow. They weren't kidding. It's so good. Have a nice time. Maybe, maybe we want to open a new restaurant in Thailand.